Well, Crocs fans, a big game on Wednesday night, of course. Australia Day Eve was the Crocs versus the Adelaide 36ers. Well, what a night. Coach Wolpert came into the media conference after the game, and once again, it was another win, a dirty win at that, but yet again, another win. The 10-point margin there making him a very happy man. Some of the stats that came out of the game, the Crocs actually had the lead for 35 minutes out of the 40-minute game, with, of course, the 36ers only getting in there for two minutes in the leading position. That being said, though, the lead did change nine times throughout the game. Coach Wolpert worked his boys pretty hard on the floor, with uh, Jacob Holmes spending 35 minutes out there defending the honour, and uh, Elvin Mims and Eddie Gill spending 25 minutes apiece out there as well. Let's go to the press conference, have a listen to the coaches, and let's see how it all wrapped up. And he wins pretty. I, you know, the, uh, on the ladder, it doesn't have a U or a P by the W. Uh, all that matters is the fact that we got the W. Um, I think uh, Adelaide kind of, you know, kind of entices you to play that, that style of game. Um, you know, I think that's why they probably had have good success in Perth. Um, so, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we made some plays down the stretch, uh, you know, to get the win. Um, uh, we had 10 turnovers in the first half. We, we only had three in the second. So, we, you know, we decided to take care of the basketball. Um, and we made a number of plays plays down the stretch, but uh, uh, we talked about the necessity of, of getting the, the third win in this three-game home stand, and we did that tonight. So very pleased. Do you think those five threes from the back end of that second quarter really helped you? Well, no question, no question. We, uh, you know, we, we always talk about, or I always talk about the guys not giving our opponents life, and there's a number of ways to give them life: offensive rebounds, soft offensive possessions where they get steals and runouts, and uh, we did some things tonight to to, to give them life, um, uh, but then late in the game, uh, and and actually for the majority of the game, I thought we defended very well. Daniel Johnson is is a is a talent in this league. He had a very good game, uh, but we took some of their other guys out of the game. Uh, kind of took Simpson out of the game, and Warren didn't do much. So uh, individually, our defense was good, and, and overall, our team defense uh, stood up uh, late in the game and did a hell of a job. Five uh, players in double figures as well. That's going to be important. Yeah, you know, I think uh, uh, we shared the ball very well. We, when they went zone, we did a we did a hell of a job. We got into a couple of sets, and we got some good looks. Had very good ball movement. Um, but again, I think the main thing is is uh, we just we made some plays down the stretch, and our and again our bench did a did a great job. Uh, end of the third quarter and the start of the fourth quarter, uh, they kind of widened the lead, and then I talked to the guys uh, uh, on the bench, the starters, and said, "Look, you guys are going to go finish this," and, and to their credit, they. Got in the game late and, and uh, finished the game. Yeah, yeah, you got to you got to give give him a lot of credit. Uh, I think Ben did a good job being, you know, bringing some physicality into the game. Uh, uh, Toff did a good job. Chris Cedar did a good job, uh, kind of directing things and organizing us offensively. Uh, but uh, both teams, you know, both the starters and the bench did a great job defensively throughout the game. Yeah, Eddie got us going, uh, and I think you know against when when you're a, a, Eddie's a consummate point guard. When you're that type of point guard, uh, he looks to get everyone else involved first. And tonight he was kind of reluctant to take his shot, but when he did, he hit some shots for us and and uh, kind of kept kept uh, uh, Adelaide's defense honest. Double double, we'll take it again. Ten ten, yeah, that's good. Got to got to feel good. Get a get a win against your old team. We're good to see the Crocs taking free throws again as well. Yeah, we're going to shoot some free throws tomorrow. Uh, we're not going to do a lot, um, you know, the day after a game and b the day before travel. But we're going to we're going to shoot some free throws because we haven't really done them in competition. Um, <laughs> so it'll be good to get some get some up in uh, practice tomorrow. Um, what's the biggest concern or the biggest you know worst thing you guys need to work on given you've got Perth you know, on Saturday? Well, aside from the fact that it's a it's a short turnaround, uh, I think we feel good about ourselves. You know, winning three games in a row and we you know four four now um but uh you know we know that it's it's a it's a tough task uh, to go to perth and to get a win um but again uh you know i think we know them they know us and, and we we know that we're gonna have to take care of the basketball again and that's the number one thing they get after you defensively and you you can't be soft with the ball you can't have soft offensive possessions yeah. well take way to stick to him hey yeah, it's nice. As Paul said, it's nice to beat your team, um, especially under circumstances. So, you know, it could have been pretty. It would have been nice if we won by 30 or some of that. But, um, you know, I think we talked about winning this, this three-game stand at home. We did that, so we're pretty happy to, uh, to do that and then move on to Perth.
to be honest with it, you kind of denied that you know going into this game wasn't really playing on your mind that it was against the old club. Did it out there? Were you like, yeah, we're going to be doing this tonight? Um, I think the thought process was, I think naturally you'd think that, yeah, like you, you, your natural process is to kind of go, I really want to beat your team, but I think when you start thinking about that, that means you kind of really don't want to beat another team you play, so therefore you take a different mentality into a game against Adelaide than you are against Wollongong, Perth, Sydney, so I try to steer away from that, that's why I ask the question the same way again, is that it's no different, it's got to be the same thing every week, and that's the real big challenge for us is to take a team like Wollongong and Sydney and Adelaide, our three games at home, which haven't been great, with the same mentality, we're going to take a Perth in, in three days' time. And that's the, the real challenge for us. Did it feel as ugly as it, it looked? At times it felt really fluent. As you said, that sort of late second quarter run we had felt really good. We were rolling and then we have three bad plays in the half. It's like, oh, it's ugly again. And then it was fluent for a little bit in the third and then it got ugly again. I just think we're, we're, we're flirting with playing great basketball. I think we're, uh, we're right on the cusp of performing really well. And that's exciting for us, but it's also frustrating at the same time. What was it like to you know, have Eddie Step up when, when it was needed. I mean, that's just Eddie, isn't it? Like he's he's clutch. I mean, uh, and he's just a solid. He's just something you love playing with. He's solid. He's he's uh, he's something you don't have to worry about. You know, it's nice having a point guard where you don't have to think about, geez, can this guy play, or is he going to be able to make a play at the end of the game, or control the tempo. You just don't have to think about it. You can worry about yourself and not worry about the ball getting stolen in the backcourt. It's just makes it easy for us to focus on our own jobs. You guys kept way pretty quiet tonight. Too. Yeah, we did. I thought we did really well on Way and, and Simpson. You know, they went four or twenty between them, um, so that's really good. And only had seven boards between them, so I think that was really, really good for us. And we kind of kept them out of the game. But then again, I guess we let DJ play really well, uh, Johnson. But um, you know, I think we're playing pretty good defense. We've had we held some pretty good teams to low scores, so we're uh, we're feeling good about that. Coach is saying they kind of entice you to do you know that ugly basketball. Do you think this is this much just good preparation for Perth? Sometimes? I think in terms of um, the way they play is, it's very scrappy and like Perth is, um, but I think Perth's a lot more physical. So I think in terms of the way they play, yeah, but the way they execute and actually play that way, they're probably, you know, not as good as Perth at it. Played way more minutes than everyone else on Cox's side as well tonight. He had as a tag of the go-to man in the team sit with you. Great. <laughs> if that's my tag, I don't think it is though. But um, <laughs> if it is, great. Um, yeah, I mean, I think maybe I'm just really fit, so uh, that's, that's the main thing. I think. You know, I just, you've got to do your job, and I, um, you know, I think I was doing you know, a pretty good job defensively, and I think that sort of kept us flying. We weren't great offensively. Uh, I think besides really Eddie, it was really flowing. I thought Shetch was good in the post. So, yeah, I think uh, defensively we sort of held together. Well, I was really pleased with the way they, they battled. Uh, didn't execute very well, and a lot of skill errors. We had 20 turnovers, which most of them were passing and catching. Uh, which means we've got to go back some steps and, and you know, deal with some physical contact and be able to look after the ball uh, under those circumstances. Cause, and some of them weren't even that. They'll just you know, dribble hand off that popped out of bounds and pass out of bounds down this end here. A couple of drop balls inside. But when I mean, you take the 20 and turn it into 10 where it really should be, and we're right in the game. And then it's just that patch where Pete hit those three threes and um, broke the game open. Then you've got to work hard just to get back to even. And, that drains, that, that just, it's a dra unless you go ahead then, it becomes very draining. Paul was saying the way your team plays, you kind of drag them into that kind of defensive grinding game. Do you think you guys did, did that well tonight? Oh, that's, that's an interesting comment because we've been slapped around about, about not playing defence. Uh, and obviously this is the first time we've, we've played each other, so his, his impression of us is obviously very different than um, some other people's. Um, and we've had to do that since we've lost, lost Crosby, uh, where, where we can't be quite as free-flowing and running it. You know, you've got to can distribute the ball.